So in this video I'm going to show you how to recognize a fake iPhone from a real one. And I'm not going to talk about boxes because anybody can put a fake iPhone into a real box anyway. So let's take a look at the iPhone itself. I'm going to point out some general rules that apply to any type of iPhone, no matter it is iPhone 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or whatever comes in the future. So rule number one, the text on the back. If it's a fake iPhone, the text is going to be printed using some ink or paint. And from all angles, it's going to be the same. It's still black. On dark iPhones, the paint is going to be white. And it's still going to be white from all angles. The real iPhone is not printed. It is etched or laser cut and it's shiny and I can even feel it when I touch it. You can feel it in the real one, in the fake one, you can't feel anything. It's completely flat. So rule number two, the buttons. In the fake one, the buttons are very shaky and loose. You can feel it. They are very low quality. The sliding switch is getting stuck and if you shake the iPhone you can even hear the buttons rattle. It's really close but I can really hear the buttons. Nice fake power button. In the real one it's very solid and you can't hear anything. Rule number three, the resolution of the display. So take a look at the icon of clock because any type of iPhone is going to have one. And the resolution of the display is very poor so the numbers are very hard to read and the second hand looks really crappy. Take a look now how pixelated it is. And also you can notice that the second hand is ticking, it's not moving constantly. In a real iPhone the resolution is much better and the numbers are very easy to read and the second hand is moving constantly, it's not ticking. Rule number four, the speed. The fake iPhone is going to have very slow CPU and you can really easily notice it when you activate the windows. You can see how shaky it is. It's very slow. It's not really moving smoothly. Just shaking. This one is completely smooth. Even if you open all the applications you have, the real one is really smooth. And one of the biggest differences is the difference in quality of photos and especially videos. Because to make a good video, you need a big storage fast CPU and also a high quality camera. But I think the fake iPhone has none of those. So let's take a look at the video resolution settings. I open settings in both of them. I look for photos and camera. And in the real one you can see video resolution setting. In this one you have absolutely no video resolution settings whatsoever. This is a fake iPhone 6s. And the video quality setting is missing for a reason I'm going to show you in the video quality comparison. So this is the video from a real iPhone 5 recording in 720p. And now this is the video from the fake iPhone 6s. And you are probably telling what the hell. What the hell is this? And this is the video in its original resolution. And yes, it's 144p in 7 frames per second. So is it really worth buying a fake iPhone? You be the judge. So this is Diorgon Wild and see you in my next videos.